hello happy thursday and welcome to a new weekly vlog i feel like this can't possibly be the first day of this week's vlog but i think it is maybe i'm not sure if that is not the case ignore me and i've already been vlogging i don't know i can't even remember which day is which at the moment i still feel like i'm really not back into the swing of things yet um, i'm getting plenty of work done but i really just don't even know what day it is or what's going on but anyway <laughs> happy thursday and i've just got done filming a video and i'm just about to edit it which is a what's in my bag video and i've had to put the lights on in here it is so rainy again Honestly, this rain at the beginning of the year when people can feel a bit down and miserable at the best of times is not welcome. It's horrible, it's dark, it's just not good. Um, but for filming my video, I was really pleased because I used my new ring light, which I got with my Amazon vouchers for Christmas, and I love it. It's so good. This is the one I got. I'm actually watching the BBC Pride and Prejudice in the background from like 1990 something. Does anyone else love that? Because Becky and I are obsessed. Um, but this is the new ring light I got. You can use a phone or a regular camera with it. I already had the stand, so I just got the actual ring light, but it's so good. It's really bright. Let me just see if I can show you. Yeah, so you can go super bright with it or do it a lot lower. Um, but it's really, really amazing. And Becky's coming around this afternoon for a catch up. So I just want to get some editing done before she gets here. I really need to vacuum because I'm just looking at the floor where I took down our Christmas tree. I meant to do it the other day. I still haven't done it and it's gross. There are like bits of Christmas tree um, needle everywhere. Obviously we have a fake tree, but you still get that happening. And yeah, it's just not good, it's not good. Although generally the place is a lot tidier. So it is just the vacuuming. If I have time, I will do it. If not, I'm sure Becky won't judge me. And this evening, Ian is in the office today. So he is coming home, then going to play squash. And then I think we're gonna start the new friends Lego. I'm super excited to do that. I can't wait. And uh, yeah, it's a good day, good productive day. I'm feeling a lot better than I have been. I had a few days um, kind of right after New Year where I just felt really like a drift is probably the best word. I didn't really know what I was doing with myself. I wasn't back into a regular everyday routine and I'm still not totally back into it, but I'm a lot more back into it than I was. So anyway, I'm gonna get on with this editing and I will see you in a bit. So I'm just sitting down to do this editing. I've just made a biscuit brew. And my lovely friend Catherine, who has an Etsy shop called Catnip, I've mentioned her before, I love her. She is just the best. She has studio vlogs and she's such a talented artist. She is just amazing. And she sent me a package which included a Disney World Rice Krispie Treat. I am obsessed with these things. Catherine, you have got no idea how much this has brightened my gray day. I'm gonna have some of this with my biscuit brew. Thank you, I love these. They are absolutely incredible. Later. Hello, it is way later on now. I have totally failed at vlogging today. Becky came over and we hung out for a while and then we are now about to play Dino Dump. Ian's just got back from squash and um, yeah, we're gonna do that and then start building the friends Lego. We might not get very far this evening with it, but we can at least start building the base, I guess, that you build first. Yeah, so, no, I guess the instructions will tell us what It's like do. a whole book. It's like a full on like catalog size book oh, in nice. there so I'm very excited to get you had a sneaky with that. peek at the book yeah I had a little sneaky mm. peek just a little sneaky peek I'm wearing a appropriate t-shirt oh yeah you are dump. you're wearing a dino t-shirt yeah yay we're watching the middle in the background obviously because it's amazing an hour later so I had some good wins in dino dump yeah there's some really close yeah games. you I won think, some too though yeah I think I don't know, maybe I won more than you did. Well, maybe I who was maybe. counting not me definitely me um no, I think we're getting quite close now. Yeah. Like most games come down to just who gets what cards, it seems. And also, but we have figured out little things here and there that yeah, like would be mistakes. Card, yeah. It's a card that means you have to play a low card. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. But now it's time for some Lego. Friends Lego. Oh my goodness. Here it is. I have been so excited <laughs> for this. I honestly cannot even wait. And something I was thinking of earlier, when I was little and I had um, like Lego sets or doll houses or anything, I used to make um, stuff out of that Fimo stuff that you bake oh, in yeah. the oven and make like little accessories. I would totally do that for Central Perk <laughs> and make like extra things to add into it, which mm. I know is weird, but I don't even care.
So it's now the next morning, the battery died last night and then we just ended up going to bed. So this is how far we got. So poor Gunther is just <laughs> kind of um, sitting there. I think mm. one of the characters is in each of the bags of bricks, so for like each section. So we basically have the base here and today it looks like we're going to be building kind of the counter. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very excited for that. We've got like more... loads of little pieces here. Yeah, there's tons of stuff there and I'm about to build Rachel. So it looks like she's got her pinny on and her denims. Her little denim blouse thing that she's always wearing. Oh, she looks a little mad. <laughs> Maybe she's mad at Ross. Fairly certain that's what's going to be happening. And I think she's somewhere in these there's little bags. There's a tray bags. in yeah. this little bag. I think there's like a, a tray a with tray some coffee. In there. Yeah, I see it. So yeah, there she is, looking angry. She can hang out with Gunther. Yeah. He'll, he'll like that. Yeah, he'll love that. <laughs> So we have the beginnings of the counter at the back. There's a couple of like mugs and cups and things. It's really cool when you start to see like features and bits of it. It's really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. it's good how it comes together. Yeah. So now we're getting to exciting bits like the menu board. I don't know why that's so exciting, but it is. We've got our coffee machine going on there and the back is building up. It's really cool, I love doing this. Okay, I've just tilted it up because the lighting's bad. So now we've got our little frame around the menu board. So pretty much the back of the kind of counter is done. That is so cool. This is amazing, I love it. This is a lot more fun than I was expecting yeah, it to be. Yeah, it is. I knew it was going to be I fun. I have done Lego for ages. Yeah, it's really cool. And when it's something that you just love, like friends, mm. it's just really, really awesome. So we're on to bag three of the bricks and we've just made a couch here. And we've got Joey with his pizza and his man bag, <laughs> um, which is super cute. I still don't know why Rachel is so angry. I haven't yeah, she's got a really yet. angry face. Do you think she? it's because she just doesn't want to serve coffee? It's probably it. Or she's, she's probably, mad at Ross. Probably a bit of both. Yeah. So we now have another wall over here with the kind of couch and we've got some more little details. There's a lamp in the corner, some flowers, and obviously a hat stand. We've got a trash can outside. So yeah, this is coming together. It's quite exciting as well. This whole wall is on a hinge mm -hmm. and there's like another hinge here. So I'm assuming that we're gonna be able to like open it up or something. I'm guessing so, yeah. That's pretty so cool. So that is really cool. I love this. So it's way later on now. This hasn't been an official vlogging day, um, but Ian is now back from his game night and we're doing some more building. We now have a like rug that we just built with a table and chairs, the classic kind of service sign. And then this is a little kind of curtain that's pulled back. We realized we had that door on backwards, so yeah. we did have to uh, fix that, but now, now it, it opens. opens. And we also built this little kind of front counter that has the register and this little thing with some cookies under it and a little display case. So this is so cute. I think we're about to make Phoebe her guitar and a piano. Yes, we're about to make, so I guess over here is where Phoebe's stage, mm. well, it's not really her stage, but well, it basically <laughs> is. So, more progress. I think we're just going to finish it because actually it's not taken as long as I thought it might. No, overall. we're on to like the last bag now. Aren't yeah, we? so we've built the couch over here and there's the microphone stand for Phoebe's guitar singing and we've got doors going on over there, the little stripey awning. We do have the keyboard and we're not 100% sure where that goes yet. We don't know if Ross will I be think playing it's for that. Ross. We can. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It'll be going <laughs> somewhere for Ross to play badly at some also, point. Also, the window's pretty cool. Yep, so we've got our central perk on the outside. This is so cool. I love this. Okay, exciting times here. We are putting finishing touches. If I get Ian to slide that a bit closer. So we have built the main kind of couch and the table area. We've got like an umbrella in the umbrella stand. And then we've got a few cups and things that we're supposed to be putting around. We're just figuring out where. where. Oh, there's a cup on this table. Mm. 
and we're done i love it this is so awesome <laughs> it'd be amazing if they did the apartments and stuff like that yeah and you could have like all the different sets that would be really cool because this is one of the lego ideas yeah. sets isn't it so this is one that the community actually came up with yeah someone's put it forward and everyone's voted it basically and you can get lights that go kind of around here <laughs> so i think i might have to do that it's <laughs> very cool good morning and happy saturday so i didn't vlog yesterday you will have seen the footage i took of us finishing the lego central perk which i love i absolutely love it I'm so happy with it. Ian's making coffee, by the way, so Hi. don't worry about that noise. You probably can't hear it as loud as it is. And um, I've got this t-shirt on today, which is kind of like um, Spaceship Earth, but it's like a heart. And I got this from Matalan, I think. Um, I got it a little while ago, so I don't know if you can still get it. Um, so yeah, we love doing the Friends Lego, and it's just given us a taste for wanting to do more Lego builds. I would love to do the Cinderella Castle one, but it's like 300 pounds or something insane, so maybe not right now uh, but we're just about to play some dino dump ian is going on an epic cinema marathon because we have the um limitless thing at odeon so i think you're seeing three movies today yeah i'm definitely yeah. seeing at least two okay i haven't been able to book the third one because you can only have two at a time oh okay so we'll see on that one um but they're all movies that i would really not like and ian really wants to see so he's going to do that and then tomorrow we're actually going to another movie so ian's having a major movie marathon weekend and we're going to see the new um little women because i do love that and ian has actually never read the book or seen it am i right yeah that's right what the heck so he needs to um just be caught up on what that's all about so we're gonna go see that and i love emma watson as well so i'm excited to see a movie with her in i like the look of the trailer yeah, it does look good. And I love the version where um, Susan Sarandon is in it and also um, Winona Ryder. And who else is in that one? Um, oh, I've completely forgotten her name. The blonde-haired girl. Doesn't narrow it down much. Um, hmm, what was her name? She's been in so many things. Nope, it's gone. Claire Danes is also in it as well. Um, so is Christian Bale. So it's a bit of a celebrity filled version and I do like that one. So yeah, we're going to do that. Ian's just made me coffee. Thank you for my coffee. You're welcome. And yes, we're going to do Dino Dump or play Dino Dump, I should say. <laughs> I have some organising to do around here. So there's still some tidying and things. And the real thing that I need to do is sort out our underbed storage so that other things can then go in there. So that's kind of... Um, something I'm building up to, but... It sounded like you said underwear, not underbed. Underbed storage, not underwear storage, what the heck? How much storage do you need for that? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do this and then I guess Ian will be going. It's already 2.30, so um, yeah, we've got a bit of time to play. So I just won three in a row and Ian is really not happy. I think you've been practicing, or have you been looking up like strategy on No, I haven't, it's just luck. <laughs> I was just lucky. Hmm. That was a bit of a weird game though, because you were convinced you'd lost like really early in the game. Then I, I no, but then I <laughs> ended up with a bunch of cards. Like I had to pick up a huge mm, amount. And then still won somehow. Oh dear, someone's bitter. <laughs> so it's later on now. Ian's still out at his movie marathon, and I have just been going through all of these things. Basically, I had tons of different kind of wash bags and makeup bags with all sorts of different things in there that have just been lurking around. So I wanted to organise it into things that needed throwing out, things that maybe I might give away to friends and family and stuff, and stuff I want to keep. So this is now a travel kind of wash bag that I can just grab and already has everything in there. This one has all my kind of full-size products that are completely full. So anything that I really rely on and use all the time and I don't like to run out of, I I tend to buy it before I'm finished with the current one. So that one is really heavy because it's full of all that kind of thing. This one has all my Florida bits and pieces. There were like some magic bands and things hanging around. So they are all in there. And in here, I've got hair stuff. And then this bag at the bottom is now empty because that had a bunch of stuff in and I came across an entire new pack of cotton pads. So that is all sorted now. And other than that, I've been replying to some comments because the Disney in Detail vlog went up today and I'm just about to look in my planner and sort out some things there. So just a general, very, very lazy Saturday night. Not exactly exciting, but that's kind of how I like it. <laughs> 
Good morning and happy Monday. So this week has been a bit of a weird one. I haven't vlogged a lot of the days. I've not been feeling too good. I haven't done my hair either, so please ignore that. At least I've got makeup on though. Um, yeah, I've not been feeling too good. This cold that I've had really since Florida has been lingering. It's then kind of felt like it's gone and then it's back and it's just so annoying. I don't feel like super unwell or anything, um, <clears throat> but I've had a sore throat, I've had a cough, um, so over the weekend I really wasn't feeling too good. Um, we did go to the movies yesterday, we saw Little Women, which was really good. I don't think it's as good as the older version, which has um, Susan Sarandon in it. I love, love that version of Little Women. This one was good though, um, and Ian went as well, he enjoyed it well enough. But this weekend went so fast, I honestly can't even tell you. It feels like the weekend didn't even happen, it's crazy. And this next weekend coming up, we will be going to see friends friends all weekend. So there's a lot going on and a lot to get done. I'm just editing a Disney vlog and then I need to begin editing this vlog. And um, this morning there were people supposed to be coming to clean the windows but they haven't. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know whether someone is suddenly going to appear at our window. They have to come onto our balcony to clean our windows just because they wouldn't be able to kind of get to them. They're too far away. So nobody, I haven't seen anyone yet. I don't know. don't know what's going on there. And we do need to do, I think I mentioned this a while ago, some patio maintenance because over the last few months it's kind of gone a bit green out there like you know you get that just kind of mossy green situation on patio slabs and there's some weeds and things like that so Ian and I've been putting it off but we really do need to go out there but I need a dry day to put the stuff down because it has to be dry for like 24 hours if it rains I guess it like washes it away but it's been so rainy we've just had a shower there now so Yes, when I get chance, I need to do that. And there's a lot of other things that I just need to get sorted, really. I have had a couple of very exciting emails. I can't tell you yet what's going on with that, but um, there will be some stuff coming up. So I've just been replying to those and sorting some stuff out. So yes, lots of things going on this morning. So I have just dug out my life planner. You guys know I've been using the petite planner for ages, but I've decided I'm gonna use my regular life planner for something else. I've just taken the covers off because Ian is going to uncoil it for me and then I'm going to take out some of the months that have already happened because obviously this one goes from July so I'm going to take out July, August, September, October, November and December to make it smaller to carry around and I obviously just don't need those months anymore so um, yes I'm getting Ian to do it because it scares me doing it. Well yeah I don't think it's going to be too tricky I did it once before didn't I? Yeah. So I think you just have to like slightly bend the coil at one end and then just kind of twist it out yeah the scary bit is trying to recoil it because you're yeah. going to get all the lines to I'll show these guys all the lines, you all the holes, the to holes. Line up. <laughs> I'll show these guys you doing it but I just get totally scared that I'll like mess it up or something <laughs> but I've taken the covers off to make it easier so we've just got the actual kind of guts of the planner as they people call it I hate that in the planner guts. yeah people oh. call it the guts I'm like well so yeah what stops it uncoiling is obviously this bit that's bent at both ends so that just stops it spinning off mm -hmm. so I think all we've got to do is straighten out one of them so that it can slide through and then this one will just pull out of the way as we start to rotate it off okay so that's what i'm going to do and then when it goes wrong victoria will get mad at me <gasps> i won't get mad but also <laughs> don't break my planner <laughs> so i'm trying to show you what i'm doing as well it's like really tricky just straighten it a bit there we go that's probably good enough so now what's going to happen when we start to rotate this is we should be able to get that one to feed through. I might have to straighten out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. These are probably not the best pliers for this, but there we go. So that looks like it will feed through. We need to pull this end so that that bent one can clear the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then we start. And it's still sticking at this end. It doesn't, doesn't like that. Let's just try and bring it back around. So, let's just make sure that will go round now. There we go. So you can see it comes out the other side now. Mm -hmm. So all I've got to do is lift that away for the first couple of turns. And then all that's going to happen is that you just keep turning this until the whole thing feeds off. So you kind of have to turn it a bit from the top. Then the bit you've bent is going to get sort of stuck and you need to just kind of pull it through. So that's how I've done it before is just sort of... Uh, top, yeah, I think there are the ways that it, if you can get it bent completely think, yeah. correctly, then it will just go, you can just like 
do what you're doing well, fact, from that end. So oh, there we you go. You kind of can do it from that end. Yeah. It's better to have some purchase against the actual paper because if you start twisting this, it's actually stretchy. Mm. So you turn it and it's not actually turning, it's just compressing this bit. Mm. So it's actually better to kind of turn it from here usually. But most people do this to take pages out, which is what I'm doing. You can also get, I believe, a hole punch so that you can make pages to add in. I've never done that. I don't know anything about the hole punch, so you would have to Google it. But I never really add anything in. I just take the months away that I don't need. I mean, you don't have room to add anything in. <laughs> no, I mean, if you were taking six months out, then you could put more stuff in. But this is an 18 month planner so um it's quite nice to take the six months out once they're done and then it's just easier to carry around once you get close to the end obviously it gets more and more sort of dodgy Wobbly. because yeah there's nothing really holding these bottom parts together so what i tend to do is just try and keep a hand on that part yeah so that eventually when it comes apart you don't lose everything all over the floor because yes that is one of the big risks of taking the planner apart isn't it yeah. is that you get pages mixed up or... yeah if you dropped it and then all the days and weeks and everything it would were take in the a very order, long time that would be so yeah we're about super annoying five coils away from the end now so i'm just gonna it also gets more difficult to turn because the pages start to slide and so all the different holes get misaligned so you just have to kind of be a bit careful and that should be it. So you've got a giant spring. Giant spring. And then you hold on to this. Yes. Do not drop this because this is now just sheets of paper. Yeah. I'm going to take the pages out that I don't want. Through the magic of editing, <laughs> Victoria has removed the bit she doesn't want. And so this is the new slimmed down version. Now, putting the coil back in is a lot more difficult than taking it. Yes, This for is sure. the hard part, part that we're about to do. So... What's really important is making sure that you get all these edges lined up. You can see at the moment, it's nonsense. You can't <laughs> yeah. see through the holes. It won't work. It if won't that work isn't like straight. that. So you need to get something flat. And I'm just using one of the covers here, which can be quite handy. And yeah, you will see if you line it up nicely, there's now, I don't know how well you can see that, but you can actually look through those holes. Yeah. So you know you're all sorted. Yeah, they're pretty well aligned. If you hold it over something that's bright or hold it up to the light, you can kind of see through it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna make sure that's absolutely... So then you just take the coil and you're just gonna do the reverse of what you did before. So, so you start end... feeding it in the way it came out. Yep, so that was the end that you bent. So yep. you just put it through the first And then you holes. probably, like I'm doing, you're gonna end up looking around at the back to feed it into the hole and then coming around to the front to hopefully see it poking out again. Yep. So you just keep repeating that process. As with before, the further down you get, the easier, the easier it, it is. Nice. Also, when you're putting it back on, you tend to have a lot less pages, so it is easier than yes. when you, you've obviously got tons of pages. Yes, the fewer pages there are, the, the less chance is. there is for you to catch something or miss something. This is actually going reasonably well. I think this is easier than the last time we did it. Yeah, for sure. Another reason to do this is if you use a lot of stickers in your planner, they get very, very heavy. So if you can take out months that you've already used, I do mm. keep them, I don't throw them away, yeah. um, but it just means that the planner doesn't weigh an absolute ton where you put Definitely. loads of extra stickers in. So now we're getting to the last couple of holes. In fact, we've only got one more hole to go. We've just poked out the second to last hole. What you'll start to see is that the end at the top or at the opposite end to where you're you're feeding in is starting to hit against so this bent mm -hmm. piece is starting to hit against the actual pages so you just need to be aware of that that as you're getting that last turn or two you're gonna have the reverse of what you had at the start and you're just gonna need to step that over yeah and that's the that's the beauty of doing this is that you never need to touch the bend on this end you no. can leave that exactly as it is so that's actually now fully coiled before I get into bending this back, I would suggest that it's a good idea to just have a flick through, ideally every single page, but if you wanna just have a rough flick through, you can. And what we're checking here is just that every page is actually on the coil at every step. Yeah. So yeah, this looks good. I'm not gonna flick through every single page. The last thing we have to do is to just re-bend this end of the coil so that it looks how it used to look. So what I would do just position it 
so that it's not going to interfere with the actual mm -hmm. pages at this point. And then, as you can probably guess, we're just going to do the reverse of what we did before. And I'm just going to grab maybe an inch or so and just look to bend that 90 degrees like that. And then just to make things neat, you should be able to feed that. It's difficult to show you what I'm doing it, but feed that inside the coil like that. Yeah. So you end up with a more or less a mirror image of what you have at the top. Mine's a bit less pretty than that one. You can obviously be as careful as you want, take yeah. as much time as you want to get the bend just the way you like it. But that's basically it. And that leaves you with... Yep. And the covers just snap back on so you don't need to yeah, recoil those. Yeah, I'm not very good at these. Oh no, it's difficult. I'm no good at that. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, through the magic of editing, Victoria is now going to put the cover on and yeah. then you can see the finished product. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so it's later in the afternoon now and I'm just about to make a biscuit brew. And I can't remember if I said earlier about the predicted bad weather in the UK today. I can't remember if I said there's a storm um, coming through from somewhere and it was supposed to be really bad. And all day I've been thinking, oh, you know, it's not that bad. It's not too awful. It is now. <laughs> um, it's suddenly in the last like hour gone so super windy and like driving rain. It's really, really nasty. It's pretty much dark outside, even though it isn't actually nighttime yet. So yeah, definitely not going outside today. And I've got quite a lot of editing done, which is really good. I do have some other bits and pieces to do. Um, I really need to still do some tidying in the bedroom. Oh, it's just this like fallout from Christmas New Year in terms of tidying has not been funny. Oh, there's the dryer just finished. Um, yeah, it's been a nightmare. There's been so much to do in the way of cleaning and tidying, but I'm gradually getting there, but it feels like it's taking forever because I can only do it in between when I have time. But anyway, better get this stuff out the dryer. I will see you guys in a bit. Hey everyone, so it's actually the next day now. I did not finish vlogging yesterday. I feel like this week has been so crazy with feeling unwell and not knowing what day it is and whatever else. I did actually film a grocery haul earlier in the week that I totally forgot about, so I will insert that now. Okay, it is grocery haul time again and we went for Asda because it definitely was cheaper last time and also cheaper even though I needed to buy things like this which is fabric softener, detergent, um, these colour catcher things I always use because since I've been using them sometimes they come out practically like black in colour so obviously a lot of colour is coming out of clothes and I've just got um, cleaning wipes, gravy granules, I always get the low salt ones and I got some eggs this week and some macaroni pasta because I'm going to do a macaroni cheese for me obviously, Ian will not be eating that mm. <laughs> he is here in the background as you can hear and i've got some corn crispy nuggets these are really really good and they're sort of quite healthy kind of compared to other chicken nuggets are they the ones that we had the other day or are these no different? these are different oh okay yeah cool. well, i think you've to try i think you've had these before though yeah i think sure. i remember them tasting really like chicken they're they kind really they're good. kind of like mcdonald's ones mm. yeah they're kind of similar okay. Um, and then I got milk. Um, these lentil chips, I actually ordered the vegetable straws that I had last time and they were out of stock and they substituted these, which I just figured I would give them a try. I've got the red potatoes again, because we really like those. Um, some foil, because I'm completely out. Um, some broccoli and I did get some parma <laughs> violets. Um, my mum got me some for Christmas, like a multi-pack of them, and I forgot how much I like them, so I got those. I've got some custard pots. I have these barbecue pop chips for Ian because those are fairly low in calories compared to other like crisps and things like that. I just got a pasta and sauce. Those are really good for me just for a really quick dinner. I did treat myself to some Dairy Dunkers because they're not the best thing in the world, but I do love those. I got some of this golden vegetable savoury rice, which is just really handy for a quick dinner. Some more of the Muller Greek whipped yogurts. <laughs> I always find that really hard to say. I got some cherry tomatoes, a cucumber, more apples. I did order one lemon for something I needed it for, but they've substituted like a pack of four, but that's fine. Then I have Philadelphia Light, um, the mini ones. These are really good for pasta dishes. And I got mushrooms and then some more mandarins. And that is everything we got. So I basically just wanted to finish this vlog and let you know what is coming up for the next couple of weeks. So next week, which is the, so the Tuesday will be the 21st, there won't be a vlog. And then the following week, which will be the 28th, there will be another weekly vlog. It's only because of things that are coming up and when I would be able to edit and things like that, it's just gonna be too complicated and too difficult. So I'm just going to miss that week and then 
and pick it up again the following week but there will be a different video instead so there'll still be a tuesday video and a thursday video so i just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog i feel like i didn't do an awful lot but we obviously did our friends lego which i loved so i hope you enjoyed seeing that and if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for lots more videos coming up soon like i was saying i think in last week's vlog i am planning on doing some more makeup videos coming up it's just taken a few weeks to get myself organized into 2020 but there's lots going to be coming up so thank you so much for watching and i know we've got quite a few new subscribers here so hello to you as well and thank you so much for joining us on this channel so again thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day and i will see you in the next one bye